and welcome to Comfy Crafter. Today I wanted to do a kind of a walkthrough of what I keep in my travel altar. Um, this is just a makeup case that I found at Burke's and it works perfectly to hold everything that I need, especially since the holidays are coming up and I know a lot of us will be traveling. Um, whether it's to go visit family or go visit um, friends. Um, also, I know a lot of people like to go and hold rituals with other people, with their friends. Um, I know some of the people that I actually do some of my um, crafting with is in Alabama. So, I like to have this on the go and ready to go. All I have to do is grab it and head out the door. Um, throw it in my suitcase and I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, this is just a makeup bag that I found at Burke's. I think I gave, um, I think I gave like $7 for it. It was really cheap. Um, so it has two different parts, two different compartments. The first one opens up like this. I keep just a small thing of salt. This is sea salt and it's just the coarse sea salt. I keep my selenite oil, which I need to shake up real good, um, that I make. Of course, my handy dandy lighter. I have my frankincense oil. Um, this is a really good oil to carry if you're just going to carry just one oil with you. Frankincense or lavender is another good one. Um, or rosemary. So all three of those, um, because I didn't want to pack a whole bunch of oil with me, this is the one that I chose. This is just a small bag of different colored spell candles and a little um, candle holder. So I've got green, red, pink, yellow, another color green, black, purple, and blue. I pack a candle snuffer. Um, I was taught to never blow out a candle when you're casting a spell. That's just the way I was taught. Um, I know a lot of people feel differently about that. Um, so, to each their own, but for me, I do not personally like to blow out a spell candle, so I use this to put it out, and it's bendable, so it fits in just about any kind of candle that you can think of, and that's all that I keep in the top part. On the bottom... We've got just a open space, so I keep some frankincense incense um, in here. This changes um, just whenever I run out of this, I grab something else and I put it in here. Um, typically, the incense that I keep around is um, good for multi-use. I don't typically buy something that is for one specific purpose. Um, which I don't honestly know if there is anything that can really be used for one specific purpose, but I like to keep stuff like frankincense, lavender, patchouli is another good one that I keep a lot. I keep my altar tile. This is a metal altar tile um, pentacle. These are really good just in case you... Um, don't, can't light your, let's say you're at a friend's house or you're out in the city and you can't light candles for your directions. Um, I'll keep a god and goddess um, tile. Just to, that way I don't have to pack around my um, statues as well or my deities. And then I have each one of the directional elements. The next thing that I keep is just a shell spoon that I make. Um, this is really good to grab a hold and use for any herbs or anything that I may need to scoop. We'll set that aside. 
sun for a minute. I keep a small package of tea light candles, white and black. Um, if you do not have spell candles, it is not a big deal. White can be used for anything and everything. Um, the but I always try to keep the white and the black candles. Just a wooden coaster. These little um, coasters my dad made. And I love to sit this sometimes with my altar tile on top of it. Or I will put my offering bowl on top of it. Okay. And here I have just some more loose incense. Um, this is something that I got from Spiritual Shack. Which I do not think is actually even in business anymore. I would have to check in on that. Um, but this is just some cone incense. A couple of little glass vials just in case. You never know. This is an incense burner. There's a little bitty hole right there that you can stick your incense in. I keep a piece of selenite, a key to represent my goddess. Uh, my patron goddess is Hecate. So I keep this. Uh -oh. My offering bowl. This is where I just keep some crystals. I keep a large chunk of clear quartz because this can be used, that comes to a point, that, because this can be used for anything. I keep my amethyst worry stone just in case I need something to hold on to. I cannot for the life of me remember what this is called. I keep wanting to call it Botswana, but I don't believe that I'm right, but this one and this one are really good grounding stones, so I like to hold on to them and ground. When it comes to names of crystals, I'm not the best, but I know what they do because I can feel the energy coming off of them. I have just a little, it, this is called a pill box. But in case there's anything that I need to put in here, a compass, and then just an altar cloth to lay down just in case I'm outside. And that is everything that I keep in my travel altar. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have another video out next Wednesday. Um, make sure to come on over to my Etsy shop and check out. I have all kinds of new goodies on there. It's at ComfyCrafter77 at Etsy. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!